Hello everyone, welcome back to Ardum's Infotech Academy. This is part two of our series on implementing dynamic text fields. In this video, we'll dive into how to integrate and save data from dynamic fields directly into Superbase. So without further ado, let's jump right in and get started. All right, here we are in our Superbase project. First, let's set up the table where our data will be stored. Click on create new table and give it a table name. For now, I'll keep RLS row level security turned off and then we'll start adding columns as needed. Once that's done, hit save. And as you can see, our table is now created. Now let's switch over to Flutterflow to integrate Superbase. In Flutterflow, head to Settings, then click Superbase and enable the toggle. Now, back in Superbase, go to Project Settings, then API. Here, copy your project URL and Anon key and paste them into Flutterflow. Once you're done, click Get Schemas. You'll see that Flutterflow has successfully fetched our Superbase tables. Now, let's set up a button that we'll use to trigger our data upload logic. In the editor, drag the button widget onto the screen, place it at the top, and then wrap it within a row widget. Let's give the row a bit of padding, say 20 pixels on the right side, for better spacing. I'll set the button text size to 14. Rename it to Upload, and add an icon for a nice visual touch. Next, we'll add the logic to the Upload button to connect our form to Superbase. Let's dive into that now. Alright, let's get started by setting up a page state. Head over to the Page State tab, click Add Field, and name this field. I'll name it current. For type, select integer and make sure to uncheck nullable. Set the default value to zero, then hit confirm. Now we'll set up the logic in the upload button. Select the button and under on tap, add a loop action. Start by setting up a condition. Click condition, select first value, go to page state, choose current and confirm. For the condition, set it to less than. Then for the second value, select app state, and choose the app state list we created in the previous video for our dynamic forms. Select no of items and hit confirm. Next, add an action to insert row under Superbase. Then select the table we created in Superbase. Add three fields for the data you want to insert. For each field, set the values like this. For name, go to value, Select App State and navigate to the data field of the dynamic forms. Choose Item at Index. Specify the index as the current page state. And select Data Structure field as Name. Confirm your settings. Do the same for the other fields as needed. After the insert action, add another action to increment current and page state by one. Now, add a final action outside of the loop to reset current to zero. Lastly, let's add a snack bar action. Set a message like upload success. Change the text color to white and confirm. With all the logic in place, let's boot into test mode to check if everything's working smoothly. All right, now we're in test mode. Let's add some data. and then hit the upload button. As you can see, a snack bar has popped up, meaning our upload was successful. Let's double check in Superbase, and there it is. The data has been successfully inserted. So that's it for this video. 
I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you did, please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to see more tutorials like this. Have a great day and I'll see you in the next one.